hello in this video as you probably already know based on the title i'm knitting my first pair of socks from the 52 weeks of socks book i'm not doing this in order i just kind of flipped through the book and picked a random sock so this is the book i'm talking about i ordered this online and I got the paperback version so it was like 20 bucks which is pretty good um I wanted the paperback version because I had a feeling I was gonna like destroy this book <laughs> since I bought it with the intention of knitting at least 50 pairs like no I kind of want to knit all of them like there are a few pairs that I don't really like that much but maybe I could find someone who I think would like them because that would be epic to knit all 52 pairs. What I did was I was going to the yarn store the other day and I was like, I didn't want to bring the book. Like this is a solid ass book to bring to the yarn store. I just like took pictures. I like flipped through and I was like, that one's pretty, that one's pretty, that one's pretty. And I like took pictures of the suggested yarn and needle size. And then I just went to the yarn store and like tried to see what I could find that like looked good. The pair that I'm knitting in this video <laughs> are these ones these are the erica socks and they're by anya human yeah i already started so i have a little bit of progress i worked on this for about um maybe like five hours yesterday i know it doesn't look like much but these are very small needles and i don't think i'm like super fast or anything like i think i can do around in about two minutes but I'm also reading a chart for the little for the little lace pattern so I'm not fast I'm not a fast knitter this is the yarn that I got and it is Cascade Yarns Heritage 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, so it is sock yarn. It is made with the intention of being knit into socks. It was $13. Um, it is 437 yards, 100 grams. It's pretty soft. I wanted to just get like a gray because I feel like I don't often get neutrals. And like the whole book, let me just put this back. The whole book is like lots of beautiful like earth tones i don't know if you can really tell <laughs> like okay this is not helpful like pretty like tones of gray and like let's see like, this one's kind of funky like blue um like speckles with black here's a nice uh blue okay it's not all neutrals but there are like a lot of really pretty neutrals like this is kind of like a nice purple um, whereas I feel like I'm mostly drawn to like neon pink or like space dye pink and orange, you know So I wanted to start with a neutral and I'll either keep these because it's like the first pair of small Complicated socks that I've knit um, or I'll give them to my mom because she did see them and I think she liked them This is really this is my first go at this I did make those chunky socks in my New York video, but those were like knit with size four and they had like an afterthought heel and you knit the heel and the toe the same way, like they were very simple. These ones, you do like a heel flap, I think, and then you do like some turning and you have to continue the lace pattern. So I'm confident that I can do it, but I just feel like this is a little bit more advanced than my last sock, but I'm having a great time. I cannot wait to finish these and start another pair. If you have this book, let me know like if you have a suggestion of which pair I should do next. I will show you my favorites, the ones that I'm like eager to knit. Let's see. I really like these ones. These ones are called Cuntum. <laughs> and I, I think it's also that they're knit in like this kind of shiny yarn. And I think that, that also appeals to me, but like, I think I'd have to order that yarn. <laughs> this, this book is tight. I love like the vibe <laughs> of this book because it's like slow fashion, like photographs in nature, beautiful like photographs of people wearing their socks outside, walking on 
wood and leaves and like like maybe the ground is damp and like some of the hand shots are like people with tattoos it's like slow like back to the roots of our like you know making things yourself but you're also like edgy and cool and tattooed and like i just really like the vibe that's the vibe i hope to give off one day <laughs> i definitely want to knit these ones these are the Crespidia Cres socks by Andrea Mowry. Uh, I do like her. They have bobbles on the front. And I was actually like creeping through the lane publishing Instagram the other day. And I saw these socks on there from when the book was like originally published. And somebody commented on the picture of the socks and they were like, beautiful, but like, but bobbles on a sock. Like that's like having rocks in your socks or something. And I was like, that's kind of rude, but they have a point. Oh yeah, and then these ones. These are the Avena socks by Natalia Ves Vesilivia. Vesilivia? These are so pretty. I actually, like when I went to the yarn store to look for yarn, like this was one of the patterns that I had taken a picture of, but I, they didn't have any good colors in like a fuzzy yarn like this and I didn't want to do like some weird colors I kind of wanted to do like white or light gray just like the picture starting with the Erica socks so let's just take another look these have like a little leaf motif going down and then they have these little like twists so I I'm almost done I have to go through the chart two times total and then I can start working the heel and it is noon right now on friday i have to go to the theater in a couple hours so i'm just gonna sit and knit for a little while but i am also going to knit these at the theater later because it's like the perfect theater project because it's small let's um knit i got a coffee i got a vegan donut it, it's in a little baggie right now so we're gonna have a fantastic morning before we have to go to the theater. I'm wearing my, my black clothes. <laughs> okay, I just got to, I just finished the angle portion. So it has like two little leaves and then these little twists. And now I'm going to move on to the heel flap. Yeah, so. That's what I'm going to do, and I will show you when I have my little flap. Here is my heel flap. This is the front of the sock. So it's it's going to be like, like the foot is going to be like here. I'm going to take a break from this and finish it later when I get to the theater. Or I don't know if I'm going to finish it, but I'm going to pick it up again when I get to the theater. Hello, it's been a full day and I am sorry I did not update you during the rest of my sock knitting for this sock, but I did finish it. I started knitting again around 4 o'clock and no, around 5 o'clock. It was after I ate dinner and then I knitted until literally like I, I finished at the same time as the show. So that was like 9.40, so about 4 hours and 40 minutes of knitting and I completed the sock. Here it is. It's super wrinkly. This is what it looked like after I blocked it. Um, so now we can block this one. And I'm waiting for the wash. I have about 20 minutes until the wash is done. So let's block the sock. Try to make it look like this one. Also, I used size 2. For this project, these are the Chow Goo needles, and I really liked these. I think they were like $13. I got a new set of Knitter's Pride in like size one and a half, and those were like 20 bucks, but those ones are pretty nice too. And then this is how much yarn I have left. It's like quite a lot. I feel like I could knit a third sock with this, um, but I won't do that. I will save it, and I'll get another ball of the same brand in another 
color. And I'll knit a pair in that, and then I'll take this leftover and that leftover, and I'll make another pair. That's my plan for this ball. Okay, let's run some water and block this sock. One minute, 37 seconds later. <laughs> this is the worst, the worst clip. Oh, hi, Lars. <laughs> the socks are finished. I just have to weave the ends from my cast on, which I'll do later. These socks uh, knit up in about a week, but again, I am like knitting all day when I'm at the theater, so they did probably take, I don't know, like, it probably took me like 24 hours total to knit each one of these, and I am I do think of myself as kind of a slow knitter. Again, these are the Erica socks. It's like a little hard to show with just my hand, but they have they have like these little twists and then they have leaves that go all the way down to um, where you do the toe. This was my first time doing um, a heel or a, what is it, a heel flap and then like this little bit which was really fun and super easy to understand I think this was like a great pattern to start with because I didn't really have any issues with it I felt like the heel was really easy but um, okay maybe this isn't like the easiest pattern in the book because I know there are some that are just like stockinette socks but if you want like one of the easier lace patterns I think this was pretty easy um, we'll see going forward since again this is my very first pair from the book I did size up because I wasn't able to get gauge. I these This pattern calls for a size one and a half US needle and I ended up using a size two. And they are a tiny bit big. Like they fit my feet for sure, but they're just like a little bit like loose, I guess. Overall, pretty successful first pair of socks. Woohoo! And I have already started knitting my next pair of socks. I can show you a little, a little sneak peek. <laughs> I'm using this yarn and this is what it looks like so far but I will talk about that in my next video in this series which hopefully will be in the next week or so. I have been knitting this a little bit slower um, just because I've had some other things that I should probably be prioritizing rather than knitting a bunch of socks but that'll be in the next sock video. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know if you've knit any socks in the 52 weeks of socks book. Give me any suggestions for patterns that you think I should skip ahead to in that book. Again, I'm not doing this in any order. I think these were like in the last half of the book. These are like in the middle of the book. Let me know if you've knit anything from that book. Yeah, I'm very into sock knitting right now. I don't know what about it is so fun. Maybe because it's pretty quick. Like most of these have about 60 stitches total and you can get through 60 stitches, like maybe not including the lace pattern, but like if I was just doing 60 stitches of knits, I could do that in like one minute, which I don't know if that's fast or not, but that sounds pretty fast to me. Okay, bye.